Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jody from Garden Hands. Today we're getting close to the end of April and we're walking through the gardens and Lindsay and I both have some of our favorite flowers that we'd like to share with you today. We thought this would be a fun video to do maybe once a month, just highlight our favorite flower, shrub, or tree of the month. So my favorite, um, when we go through both of our yards, I think we have about nine different varieties of daffodils, and they are my favorite. And daffodils are known and sometimes referred to rebirth or new beginnings. So for in Wisconsin, after we're done with winter, there isn't anything better than seeing daffodils come up in our yards. So my favorite is actually one of Lindsay's. It's from Color Blends and it's called Ice Follies. And what makes it kind of interesting is it first comes out and the, it's two-tone colors. And as a few days pass, it will all kind of blend into a very beautiful cream. So it's, in a way, you get two for the price of one. So when it starts out, it has white petals and the inner cup or throat is more of a yellow color. It's just beautiful. It is, it's really, really pretty. It's, and it goes well with anything in a bouquet. There's a couple things about daffodils that make them just really nice in the garden. The first, for us in Wisconsin, we do get some, you know, when spring comes, we'll, it, the temperatures turn back and we had a, really quite a few days when it hit about 26 degrees in the middle of the night. I covered half of my daffodils because I didn't want to lose them and Lindsay didn't cover hers and my other half I didn't cover. They were all fine. So my learnings for next year, I'm not going to worry too much about them if we have five, six hours of, you know, that 27, 26 degree temp, I think they will survive. So that was a real positive thing with the daffodils. As I mentioned before, one of the early flowers, they're just beautiful to see in the garden. Mm -hmm. And they last in a bouquet. You can get a bouquet that lasts, what do you think? A week, two, a week and a half? Yeah, I would say so. Which is, you know, pretty nice. They're animal resistant and they naturalize. Kind of the perfect flower. Yeah, it's a win-win. I noticed in a prior video, when Lindsay and Morgan were picking the daffodils, they weren't even using a scissor. So I did ask her about that. Do you want to explain? Yeah, it was something I found on Instagram that it was a flower farmer and she said she stopped using scissors to cut her daffodils. If you pull at the bottom of the stem and gently pull up, not trying to pull the bulb out of the ground, but you'll actually get a few more inches of stem length. So on daffodils that usually don't have a super long stem, it's kind of nice to get a few that are a little bit taller. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and, and it was easy. It wasn't, yeah. it's not a messy process or anything. Another thing I learned from Instagram about daffodils is that inside their stems, they have kind of a sap that comes out when you cut them or when you pull them out of the ground and it's poisonous to other flowers. So if you are making a mixed bouquet with tulips and daffodils or hyacinths or something, you might wanna put your daffodils in their own container for a couple hours up to overnight. Okay. And that way it seals the bottom of the stem off before you add them to your other bouquet. So then they're not toxic to the other flowers. Yep, they don't put toxins in the water for the other flowers. You don't wanna put them in a container for a couple hours take them out and then cut them and put them in the other uh, one that reopens okay. and then they ooze this poisonous sap out again. Okay. So Good a know. fun little tip that yeah. I didn't know before this year. So Good. All right, so I was also gonna pick daffodils up until two days ago when my front sidewalk started blooming with tulips and I remember that tulips were my absolute favorite spring flowers. So <laughs> they made it in time and I think my favorite spring flower or my favorite April flower is definitely tulips. They just bring a burst of color. I have a few hundred in the front of my house and they're all shades of pink. So it is a very striking display, especially from further away. In particular, I will single one out. It's a variety called Smooch. So it is a <laughs> bright pink tulip. It's just a single tulip. It blooms early to mid spring. It's oh I don't know 14 to 16 inches tall and it's just a gorgeous pink color it just makes me happy to look at it um, 
tulips unfortunately are not deer resistant. I don't believe they are squirrel resistant. They don't naturalize super well. I've had pretty good luck in most of my flower beds with them coming back, but I do plant a few every year to make sure that I have something that comes up. I know you've had some problems with yeah. tulips in the past, but I just love the bright color that they bring. And tulips can come in a ton of colors. In this bed, I just happen to have a lot of pink colors, but I also have a white tulip bed. And this next year, I will be placing an order for several more colors to bring into the landscape. So that is definitely my April flower of the month. So Lindsay, what would be, what's on our order for <laughs> color blends this fall? I know you're sending it in shortly. I did, we sent in our order. I don't think I'm gonna go over all of the order, but let's talk about maybe some of the tulips and daffodils that we ordered and that way we can when we plant this fall, we can go over in detail what each of the flowers are. You had ordered a couple new daffodils, yes. new to you, and one of them was Mount Hood. That's all white. Yep. And that, I think that will be very striking mm -hmm. underneath the crab apple tree. Yeah. You have a lot of the classic yellow yes. daffodils. I don't know that we know the variety of it, but it's the yellow petals and the yellow throat. Um, yeah. and they're yeah. beautiful, but you were going to add some new color to your Correct. mix. And then the other one you ordered was, oh, White Lion. Oh, that one was pretty. Yeah, it's it? a double yeah. daffodil. It is hardy in zones three through nine, I believe. It does naturalize well, so that's great. And it comes out with a creamy white petal. And then on the inside, it's almost like a buttery yellow ribbon is wrapping around on the inner ruffle. So yeah. it is, it's a really pretty daffodil. So I ordered a really pretty one. Okay, it's called Cassetta. It's a light yellow petal, it's a single daffodil. And the inside, the petals splay out further. So they're not a cone okay. tulip shape, they are more flat against the outer petals and they're a slightly darker yellow. So you have a lighter cream yellow and then a slightly darker yellow on the inside, oh, more of a true pretty. yellow. So I'm really excited about that one. And then I also ordered Pink Charm. So it actually looks kind of like this one, but it's pink in the middle instead oh, of orange. That would be very pretty. Yeah, I think that'll add a little bit of color that we don't have between our two gardens. And then as far as tulips, so I think I'm almost done with this front pink bed. I am gonna add a few more called Angelique. And I might actually have some of them in here. I think they're a later blooming tulip, like a double tulip. They've got a lot of ruffles in them. That'll be the theme this year is all my flowers have lots of ruffles okay. in them. <laughs> Um, so that'll be really pretty just to put in a few of the spots within this bed that are a little bit more bare. I'm going to put some down in the front yard. We're going to put a new garden in down there later this summer and the variety that I picked is a mix and it's called Pillow Talk and it has light pink tulips and then also yellow tulips. Oh. So kind of more muted tones of them. It looks really pretty. And then on the south side of the sidewalk we don't have any tulips and I need it to tie into the other bed. So I'm gonna order a variety called Menton. They're just a single pinkish, peachish tulip. Just a nice sturdy looking one that can go in a vase. You know, they're just a pretty pink tulip. So those are a couple of the varieties of <laughs> tulips and daffodils that I ordered for this fall. We will have our hands full planting this I fall. So. It'll be the biggest year of planting yet. So I'm really excited about that. It's a lot of work in the fall, but every spring, I just walk out here like three or four times a day and just enjoy this so much. And they make great bouquets. Yeah. I, it's fun to share them. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be able to do the nursing oh. home. Yeah. We'll be able to do the nursing home bouquet again next year. So that was our favorite flowers of April. Again, we hope to do something similar to this every month. and. This will probably be the easiest month. We pretty much had two or three choices to choose from, and hopefully the next month will be a little bit more of a challenge to come up with our top flower, or couple flowers, or shrubs, or trees, or whatever we find. So you can look for those videos coming up in future months. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for what we have coming next.